Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Now, before I get started, I wanted to point out that my door bridges break too. Okay, so don't think that it's... Uh, I just loaded in my base. Uh, hold on, let's get rid of some of these axes. That is a ridiculous amount of axes. I don't need all those. What if I get flung? Those are, those are going off into the void. Well, void kills are okay, because you don't lose your axes during the void, but... What if I get flung in the water or something? Would hate to have to quit. Okay, <clears throat> so what happens is this door was already down whenever uh, I left last time, so I should have made sure that this was up. Now it looks like that door's actually stuck. Yeah, wow. Wow. <laughs> uh, so this door Sorry, this door here is actually getting stuck in the ground right there. So, crazy. Okay, so we move the glass door, hit B, place the glass door back, and that should attach. That's good. Now this door that's just above it is no longer attached, so we're going to move it and press B. It should now be attached as we fall down. <laughs> okay, back up we go. Do, 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 do. Door logic. That's, uh, that's what I should call this. Door logic. There we go. Now everything's reattached. So if your doors do become stuck or unattached or whatever the case may be, you can always uh, reattach the doors. That is not a problem. Um, here. We're going to open this door and then we're going to move this door. Boink. Hit B. Put that back. All the other doors are going to be broken. Oh, dang it. This is not a good platform to be standing on. Um, there we go. And then, can I reach that? I can't reach that, so. Gotta jump up. Come on, jump up. There we go, and close the door. Now, these doors are still not attached, so whenever I open this, it's just gonna be that first door. That's it. So, to reattach, move the door that's not attached. Hit B. And, oh, figures. There we go. So, um, today we're going to continue on with the upper doors. Um, hold on, I cannot stand right there because that would block me from actually walking up to the top. Uh, so I'm going to take all these doors that are right here, I'm building them up as far as I can, and then uh, we're going to have to take some ladders, build them up, build the doors, build them up, and I want to keep moving these platforms up and up and up so I have a better target to shoot for. Now, if I need to, I can always rebuild platforms later to like fix some stuff down below, but for the most part, I really don't need them. Uh, what I do need to do is make sure that these are open. So when I place them, oh, they will open automatically. Now what that does is it allows me to build further up than I'm able to reach. And I just go back through later and close the doors. Come on, come on. So like this platform right now, this is this is too low of a platform because uh, my build height is already higher than I am. So the next idea spot is the next platform up there, which is what I will be doing here just shortly. Oh gosh. And then move this one. Move. And right here. So it's not really a... I guess this is more or less a tutorial on uh, door bridge building. Um, oh, I can't step on that side. Wee! There we go. So to get these doors ready, I'm going to open this door right here. All right, and then I'm going to move this door below. Move B. So now our doors are prepared and ready to go. Now all I have to do is move this one. Scan. Oh. oh no! All right, jump up here like this. This might be a little bit of back and forth up and down the ladder, but that's okay. We've got time. We've got plenty of time. Just building a door bridge. So one unit, right there. Good. Uh oh. Back down. No. Come on. Come on! Oh. 
back up we go. <laughs> now this is this is no palm bridge. The distance that we're going is not equivalent to a palm bridge at all. In fact, I don't even know what that distance is. I remember it was like 255 doors long. And we're we're not even reaching 200 yet. Was it 255? I can't I can't remember how many doors it was. There's a lot of doors. Uh, anyhow, I know that a lot of you are heading back to school, and why? A lot of you are heading back to school. A lot of you are re-gathering with your friends, rejoining your old lost buddies, getting ready for school. Um, you know, and the morning times are hard for me, or at least they were. They used to be. The mornings are still pretty hard for me. I'm just not a morning person. I am definitely a, what they call a night owl. There we go. That works. So I turn around and turn back, and then I can press down and actually move. I like staying up late. I like um, dark gray days where the sun's not out. And... You know, it's not that I'm a dark person. It's just I like those kind of days. I really like um, rainy days, and it's not—it's not like melancholy or like depression. It's just I don't like sunny days because it's like, oh, it's all sunny outside. I should probably be outside doing something, and I don't want to go out in the sun. It's so hot. I want to stay inside with my air conditioning. I want to have my artificial light, or no light. That would be great. Can we do that today? Um, one thing I have... Ooh, ooh, not that one. Come here, you. There we go. One thing I have been... Ah, oh, no, no! One thing I have been doing is... Um, I've got my VR headset that I use at work for work-related purposes. So I can actually see my screens inside like a 3D environment. It's, it's hard to explain, and I'll have to do a video over it, but... I love being inside VR and doing work because it's this this dark environment with a huge screen. Huge, huge computer screen. I mean, it's literally in my computer inside VR. What's funny is like, um, it's a little redundant, but they have one called The Office, which sticks you on a desk and it puts your computer monitor onto a computer monitor so you're sitting at a desk. <laughs> I still switch over and use that one every once in a while. I'm like, ah, a little bit of a different office space. Anyhow. All right. Uh, we need to change, oh, change the platform. So, oh no, come on, come on. <clears throat> I forgot how much I fall whenever I'm trying to figure, figure these out. Okay, can I reach that one? Yeah, we can reach that one. We're gonna move you right up there. Maybe. There's one. We're gonna move you. Look down, look up. Right there. Perfect. So I need to correct the doors on the way up. Oh, well, they're a little off. But that's. No, oh, come on! I bounced. Hmm. What a nice bounce. All right, nine minutes in, we're already messing up by falling down. I was going somewhere with the whole, like, starting school thing. Um, be nice. Be nice to your friends. Uh, be nice to your enemies as well. That might not make a lot of sense right now, but... Um, just because somebody's a bully to you might not mean that they're being a bully... Just because they don't like you. There could be a lot more stuff going on. Um, if somebody is bullying you, that is not your problem. What I mean is it's not your fault. People are afraid of things that they don't understand. And one thing thing that people don't understand about me is like I love kids games 
I love hanging out in Roblox. I love being a kid. No! Except when I fall down. <laughs> and it's not just that. It's this isn't really a kid's game. Like this is this is a sandbox environment and video games were never like originally for kids. I mean, look at most of the developers on here. They're like older teens into 20s and older. Um, you know, David Bazuki, he's no spring chicken, guys. He's the owner. Of course, everybody's like, oh, well, he's the owner of the CEO of the... Oh, come on. Seriously. You know what? We're just going to build ladders now. Because <clears throat> that's what we're into. We like ladders. Um, so... Is it different if I became a game developer versus a game player? Is there a different context to it? I don't know. A lot of people, even my coworkers, made fun of me whenever I first started becoming a YouTuber and they said, what are you doing? And I said, Roblox, and everybody snickered at it. Not too many people are laughing now. Maybe one or two comments down below just got commented from trolls. Saying, haha, grown up playing Roblox. And I'm okay with that. Just because you don't understand doesn't mean that I, can't, I have to listen to it. I love Roblox. <clears throat> I love new games too. Uh, a lot of the new games that get sent to me. Oh, by the way, I get a lot of Steam keys and pre alpha, uh, beta keys, stuff like that. A lot of them are not family friendly, and then some other ones, they're not even rated yet, so I can't tell if they're family friendly, but... I mean, would you guys want to see me start playing some more adult content? Not like that, but like... Uh, more adult themed stuff? I was thinking about playing Skyrim at one time, that was way before I did this. Whoa, is the moon rolling? Why is the moon rotating? Oh my gosh. Did I just watch a phenomenon? Because it's not rotating anymore. Oh, oh, so it's one direction as it goes up. And then when it gets to the apex or the top, it rotates the image and then goes back down. Oh my gosh, I've never noticed that before. Did you guys, if you knew that, Write in the comments down below, at, like I knew or something. If you want, you don't have to. That's that was totally wow. That was completely one of those YouTuber moves, being like, "You gotta get this YouTube video to fifteen thousand likes." You don't have to do anything. You can sit here and just enjoy the video. You do not have to do anything if you don't want to. That is your choice, and I should not influence you to go and do something that you don't want to do. I mean, you're enjoying the video, right? That or you're, you know, riding in the bus or, or eating breakfast or lunch. Or, hey, you just got home and you're getting an afternoon snack. Who knows? I don't know what you're doing right now. Why should I interrupt you? You know? I mean, at least you had enough time to come and watch my video. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. And that's more than I could ever ask. <sighs> The world is a different YouTube place. It's different than the YouTube that I grew up with. And it's definitely changing. For better, for worse, don't know. Couldn't tell you. But the logarithm's got everybody messed up. People are trying to chase the, the logarithm. The logarithm's chasing the audience, and the audience is chasing the YouTubers. There's no real target. And then YouTube has their own agenda. I just watched, uh, who is it, Matt Pat, Game Theory, Game Theorist, on PewDiePie's, uh, why PewDiePie was going to lose the crown anyway, the inevitability of it. Wow, India. Okay, and for anybody that's from India and you're watching my channel, thank you so much. But at the same time, what in the world just happened? And this is, this is, okay, I'm not going to make this a PewDiePie T-Series thing, but I honestly 
don't think, I don't feel like companies should be doing what YouTube did for T-Series to have a direct connection, multi-network channel, conglomerate, a, a corporation. And this is going to be for everyone. This is, this is game changing. It's huge. Because you, as a, as a viewer, have the ability to go and become a content creator. But you will never get the chances like you did back in 2013, 2015. I'm sorry. It's never going to happen again. They made new rules and they made new regulations and the whole adpocalypse and the whole getting into India to take over the, uh, the company and make political influences. It is a corporation. It is no longer about the YouTube content creator. It is sad. I know you don't want to hear this and it's, it's such a, a letdown, especially from somebody who has done everything against the YouTube algorithm, against everything that a YouTuber is supposed to do. You need to edit your videos. Video editing's the best. Clickbait like crazy. I've not done any of that. I still made it to 100,000. So, I mean, dreams do come true. <laughs> do not get me wrong. You can still make it in the YouTube world, but your fighting chances have drastically decreased. And I want you to do your best. And I tell you what, I will tell you the secret right now. In fact, if you wanted to take this and run with it, you can absolutely become 100,000 subscribers within two years. Every video has to be at least 10 minutes long for it to be monetized, period. You have to have at least 10,000 subscribers before you can get monetization and at least, uh, what is it, 100,000 views, consecutive views per month to get monetized. So, what you have to do, make clickbait titles. Even if they're not true, even if you're completely lying through your teeth, I'm just telling you the formula. I'm not telling you to actually go and do this. This is, this is the reason I don't do it. Make them clickbaity. And no offense to anyone. If you put a female of some kind making like an oh my gosh face on your thumbnail, you're going to get clicks. It's just the way the world is. So there you go. Clickbait titles. Um, 10 minute videos, so much heavy editing that the content you originally recorded is no longer really content. It's just a bunch of edits, a bunch of transitions and a bunch of quippy jokes. And then influence your audience by telling them that, you know, if they want to see another series, they have to get it to a certain amount of likes. That's the next step. There is a definite formula for becoming 100,000 subscribers in two years. It is not the correct way, but it's the way that works. And like, even Mr. Beast will tell you it's not the way it used to be. Maybe I probably shouldn't have given you all that ammo to work with. And maybe Maybe I'm just crazy, and that's not the way YouTube actually works. But I've seen it. And you cannot convince me otherwise that it's going to change anytime soon. It's just not. <sighs> Anyhow. How far along are we? Oh, we're at 19 minutes. I can, I can keep going. I can keep ranting. Why not? We've got things to do. Okay, this is this is going to be a little difficult. Hold on, let's uh, let's place this one here, and let's go ahead and grab this one. We're just going to move this one up. Can I place this? Yeah, yes, yes, perfect. So then I should be able to place this one right. Here. 
I love the way the placement system works on this because it is not the... Oh, no, 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 no! Mm. It, is, uh, it is much different than my placement system because, like, with mine, my... My placement system tries to get the object right next to it within one unit, which means that the the thing that you're trying to place clips. So it will clip other objects, and I need to fix that. But that's going to be for the next video. So stick around. We have a uh, how to build. Uh, let's build a game. Coming up next. On the Code Primate channel. Move B. Move B. Move B. Move B. Okay, so let's jump down. Boom. And let's open the doors. No doors left behind. We're sticking out the other end yet? We are. We're just barely across. Oh my gosh, this is going to take forever. So many doors, so much time, so so much effort. Anyhow, I'm gonna get out of here because I need to turn the air conditioner back on. It is hot, and you know I've probably been ranting longer than I should have, but that's okay. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Duck Into with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, as I rant about random YouTube things and talk about random things inside my head that I I don't know. I just kind of went off there for a second. Probably should drink some more coffee, but I ran out. Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, but it's really up to you. It's your choice. You do what you want. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <gasps> Outro. Thank you.